Hello, my name is Kevin Jones, and I'd like to welcome you to Reformation and Revival Now. And in today's video, I want to share with you how to put on the People's Banquet. Now, when I say how to, I'm not referring to a method. Actually, I'm referring to vision or the vision that God has given you. God has given you like a road map, almost like a set of plans of the people that he wants you to minister to. And these slides that we're going to present to you, starting with the one that we did here in Woodbridge, you're going to see five different expressions and you're going to see even different directions that God led people uh, according to that situation. So we're not promoting how we do it in Woodbridge, but actually what I'm promoting is what Jesus has shown you. And I'm encouraging you to carry it out. But please be encouraged by these slides and I'll be back with some important keys for you to begin to put on your outreach. So Tanya and I feel um, impressed to begin to really encourage others to uh, step out in faith and reach out to their community. Uh, when we first did these, we didn't have this in our mind, but it started dawning on our hearts, so God started putting it on our hearts, that other people need to do it. You know, God wants us to really reach out to people that are in need. And he wants us to reach out, of course, to people who don't know Christ. But sometimes you don't get that option. Sometimes God just wants you to reach out. And if leading them to Christ is available, you lead them. But for some people are going to need food, and that's all you're going to give them. Some are going to need Jesus, and that's what you'll be able to give them. Some are just going to need a friend. You know, some are going to need connections. Um, there are a lot of things that can take place in the community outreach. But here's the thing. The harvest is plentiful, but the labors are few. God is looking for those who are willing to labor in the field. And so this video was made with these uh, very slides that you see. These slides came from a vision. They, these are pictures of what my wife saw four years ago. And she has a vision to bring the communities together, whether they be Hispanic, whether they be um, uh, African American or white, whether they be Roman Catholic, or whether they be Protestant, it doesn't really matter. So Tana has really been working hard to make this come to come to pass. Now you need to understand that God is calling you. That's why this video was made, so that you can make an impact on your community. So. I hope that you will take this as encouragement for so Tanya and I are excited about anything that we can do to encourage you to reach out to your community, reach out to those in need in the, in the place that God has called you. Well, I will see you later and uh, please enjoy the rest of this video. Bye bye. Hello, I'd like to uh, welcome you to Reformation and Revival now. We'd like to give a little tribute to Joe Terrell, who has been such a blessing to this uh, workers' community. Actually, such a blessing all over Northern Virginia, D.C. You know, Joy took the basic things which we did in that first banquet, and she just expanded it. And she took it further than anything that Sultana and I could ever imagine. In fact, Joy is probably the most community-minded person I've ever met. But I wanted to share some of the blessing of Joy Terrell with you because she's proof that one person can make such a difference and you can make a difference. Now, Joy is a powerhouse and has been for years. But you put Joy Terrell and my wife together and I tell you, you can <laughs> see how many amazing things can happen. Joy is, also, Joy is also a great contributor to other people's ministries and other people's lives wanting nothing in return, but only to be a blessing. So I'm hoping you will take this tribute that we did for Joy and learn from it and know that you can make a difference. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. I'm Sultana Jones, and I want to show you an example of a people's banquet that, that took place this year. Austin, he was the one that put on a, a banquet. He's in Nigeria. And it's a very poor area that he um, put this banquet on. I just want to let you know that it's not exactly what you have to put on the banquet. It's what you're willing to do. It's what you're willing to go forward with. You don't have to have a lot of money 
to put on a people's banquet. But you do have to have love. Love from deep inside your heart for the people, for the community, to want to do something. I mean, it could be as simple as popsicles, or water being given out on a bike trail. So many things that you can do in your people's banquet. I'm calling a people's banquet because you're, you're loving on the people. You're going forward and you're offering this up to them, offering yourself. And so doing a people's banquet, you can um, grab hold of the different people in the different areas. And we're talking about an orphanage. We're talking about um, what he did was just amazing. He went there. He just, you can see he's holding on these gutter children. These children were thrown away. They're throwaways. And he held on to them and loved on them. And that was their offering. That was their banquet. They brought them resources, clothes, and everything. And they just helped them. And when they went out to the beggars, community, they just loved on them. They gave them something simple like rice. And it was just amazing to see nothing made into something. When you offer it to the Lord, it's everything. And so I want to say, please, you can do a people's banquet too. It doesn't take a lot. It just takes what you got. Hello, this is Brother Kevin. I'd like to share with you our friend, Brenda. Brenda, and Sultan and I go back a long way, even before we were married. And uh, the sweetest lady you wanted to meet. She heard about Sultana and the People's Banquet that she had been doing up here. And she was inspired and felt like, you know, the Lord is putting something on my heart also to reach out to my community. And Brenda stepped on faith and acted out that vision, but she had opposition. She had no support, but she just decided, I'm going to go ahead and go forward with what God has told me to do. And this has turned into a ministry that goes around all year round. She calls it the People's Community Outreach. And she has been reaching out to the poor and reaching out to those in need with clothes, with food and other community uh, needs and getting vendors and everybody everybody involved in the Montana area. Now, this is a reminder to let you know once more that you can do it. Oh, by the way, superheroes are invited to this. But anyway, anyway, you can do something in your community to reach out with the sweet love of Jesus, making a difference. This is the last days, and God wants us to reach out to everyone the love of Jesus. You know, love never fails. A lot of people didn't support Brenda, in, in her outreach, but after it began to have success, people that she least expected began to step in and say, hey, can I be a part? The most challenging thing that you'll have to do is getting started, stepping out and saying, Lord, I'm going to reach out to the people you have told me to touch. So we sure hope that this slide and, and that this presentation will be an inspiration to you because that's its intention. God bless you. See you soon. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Sultana Jones, and I want to share with you about the People's Banquet and Dalam Ghazi. Dalam put on a banquet in an area in Bangladesh. It's very poor, and we call it the Project 27. And he um, went to a group of folks and um, said that he would come back and he will put on a banquet for them. There's probably about maybe 280 people there at the, at the place, maybe 300. And Dalam really went ahead and um, put on this banquet for them. And they were really touched. Their whole heart was uh, ministered to. It's mostly Muslim, some Hindu, and he went in there and he was able to have the freedom to speak and um and it really was amazing now he was just not encouraged to do it because he didn't think he can do something like that because he didn't think 
he was able to. But I began to share with him and said, just show them your love. Just show them you care about them. You know, go back and just do games or play or whatever. And it encouraged him and he got a whole team of folks together and they went into this project and it was a hopeless situation that he turned around and gave hope to a group of people they celebrated probably for the first time in years and years. I don't even, they don't even remember when they had such an event. I don't think they have, but he went in there. And so he took his little bit and was able to let it grow. And I want to encourage you to go out into your community, your community where it's touching your heart and put on a bank, a banquet. It, it doesn't have to be huge. It, it doesn't have to be 280 people. It could be 10. It could be youth. It could be the elderly. Wherever is in your community, go out and reach out to them. Show them the love of God. Show them that they matter, that it's for them, that you care about them. And so the People's Banquet is a, a time of love and a time that you give from your heart to their heart. And it's amazing their response. Dalem gave what he had. He taught the kids, he played with the kids. He even, the adults even played games. They cooked simple food and they ate together and they felt the love of Jesus for the first time. And that was amazing. They were able to speak openly about the love of Jesus and who he is and who he, who, what he came to do. And I'm just saying, when you put on your people's banquet, you don't know who you're gonna touch and how it's going to alter their lives from your heart to their heart, you can do it. Put on a people's banquet, a time of love, your love, God's love. Bye for now. Welcome back. I hope that you were inspired by those slides. They inspired the Sultan and I as we made them. I want to share with you a few things that you're going to need just to get started. And trust me, it's nothing necessarily in the natural. We start first in the spiritual realm. First, you're going to need vision. Okay, God has to have given you a vision, a prophetic word, a divine leading. He has to lay something on your heart, a people group, a neighborhood, um, maybe a nation. But we're talking about really a community. Okay. And if he's done that, you understand that vision. You understand that he's put it on your heart. Then that you understand it's a vision from God. Now you can have biblical faith and you can step out in faith and take those action steps. You know, faith without works is dead. And both uh, the vision, which I call the hope realm, vision, okay, really gives the goal or gives the roadmap for faith to work. But they're both motivated by the love of God. And that's the threesome that you have to have. You have to have the vision where God is leading you and where you're headed. You have to have faith to take the action steps. And it has to come out of the love of Jesus within you. Those are the three things you're going to need. So anyway, we sure hope these slides are a blessing to you. And uh, we'll see you on another video of Reformation and Revival now. Bye-bye.